Well, good morning, boys and girls out there in uh, YouTube land. I'm in the middle of somewhere. I'm actually sleeping in uh, what I call a sleep shuttle, something I built. It goes on top of the ute. I'll jump down a minute and show you how that works. Excellent if you've been having a wee drink the night before and you can't drive anywhere. But I actually built this for uh, hunting, so you can go out the night before, park up, and you haven't got three hours to drive in the morning to the hunt zone. This is my view this morning. Other than a dirty, thumping big boar on the back of the truck, that's what I woke up to. It's been a weekend of, uh, well, it's been three days, of uh, bush, boars, bears, bulls ups, ballads and bullshit. I've been to the Pest Quest and I'm just on my way home. Anyway, I'll jump out of the truck. I'll tell you a little bit about this. Comes with a toilet. It's for us fellas that are uh, hung like a mice and can fit your old fella on the end of one of those. Ladies, I don't know how you're actually managing this because it's only like 600 high. One of the blokes at the uh, competition said, uh, in fact I got asked by a few people, uh, can you have sex in it? And I can report back, yes you can. It's absolutely fantastic. So long as you're just by yourself. Anyway, we'll uh, jump out and have a look what it looks like from the outside. So from the outside, it looks like this. It's basically uh, fiberglass, except for these bits of ply, what I just put up to keep the wind out. And this folds down, I'll show you, it actually comes right out. It folds down and uh, closes in on the back. So you just go inside. Also it has a mosquito screen which goes across there to keep the bugs out at night. So the sides are simply just pull out, they fold up in there, put them back inside the uh, shuttle. And comes out in there and goes in there. Pretty easy. And then this comes down. A bit like a dog box. This one, all sweet. Piece of cake. Totally watertight. Stroll our pig back for the weekend. That was uh, what my mate Andy caught with me. This dog pulled that one up. And I want to show you the uh, new dog box. This is what we call our elite model. It's actually a prototype still. We've only, uh, we're still really working on it. It's a work in progress. Let the hounds out. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Poe. Actually, we've had few comments about this and uh, one guy said oh it looks problematic he did outline a few things he didn't like about it but to be honest he didn't uh, get it right but the problems I have had with it so far is it's a bit noisy with dogs wagging their tail on the inside need to put some plywood in there which we were going to do anyway so wang bang 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 that's a bit noisy you've got uh, water here which is brilliant washing your hands after you've caught a pig and uh, or filling up the dog's container for water and uh, there's heaps of room as you can see it's a full size dog box and then when that's um, all closed up you've actually got two compartments for dogs on each side and you've got another one here for stuff so that can close up this polycarbonate window ensures you've got see through right through your cab sounds a bit like an ad doesn't it but actually I'm posting this because uh, I've got to post something every day, every every Tuesday, so this is going to be it this Tuesday. Sorry, no action, just been hunting for three days, haven't had a chance to do much. So I thought I'd show you this. Lock up on the side. A little bit of shitting right now. It's got my rice bubbles and my milk for breakfast. And that's what the pod looks like from the outside. It's got four 8mm bolts that hold it onto this rhino rack. They don't go on anywhere. And it's got these tie downs which are fixed to the unit. They're bolted on with um, 10 millimeter, well no, that looks like eight millimeter uh, bolts as well with loops in the end. Took a while to get it aerodynamically correct. We did that with a GoPro and a mock-up with a piece of plywood and little bits of wool all along then we photographed it. The wool has to, the air has to come off the cab and not be pushing down or pushing up, it's got to be parallel to that. 
So it took a while to get that right. Um, but she's a, she's a cracker. That's what's new. And uh, I hope you guys all had a good weekend too. Good to meet a few faces at the Pest Quest. Really enjoyed that. And uh, having to head home the, the long way because you need chains for the Lewis. And I haven't got any chains. So we'll go through Blenheim. Might even get a sneaky hunt on the way home. Mind you, both dogs are a bit sore. Jim's got a hole in his bum. Poe's still limping. I'm a bit sore too. See you later.